Hello everyone, Alex the RC Freak here coming at you with another video. This is an install video on how to install the rear differential. Making sure you put your shim, make sure you put your shim on the ring gear side of the bearing. Alrighty, so basically what you want to do is you want to get some all-purpose grease. This is what I use. I like it. It works really well. Um, it's, you know, red. So you just take it. You want to load your differential. Take off this shim. Set it aside for the time being. Make sure to install that, though, before you put your differential back in. I can't say that enough. I know I say it a lot, but it's seriously important. I know some people may be like, holy crap, you're loading that thing up with grease. Yes, I am. That is very correct. I'm not afraid to use grease. And they're going to be like, well, it's going to fling off anyway. Well, yeah, but at least it'll have grease around inside the differential half. And I'm going to get a big glob, my finger like that, over to the, that uh, pinion gear. And just fling it all over there. And just wipe off my finger. Okay, so now what you're going to want to do, grab the... Uh, shim okay put the shim this is the shim put this shim set it and see how it kind of drops you want to kind of hold it so what i like to do this is my trick right here hold it with your finger get this side of the bearing in first make sure that shim's in there without getting bent okay but you're going to want to make sure you get your differential in there with the axle so you're going to want to take it might kind of be tricky. It is kind of tricky, actually. So, get that in there. Make sure not to lose that shim. Okay. Okay, so. Okay. There we go. Bam, just like that. Now, the ring gear goes on this side, the left side, towards the left side. You can't put install it on the... On the right side because there's a groove in the chassis there's a little notch in the chassis i don't know how well you guys can see that there's a little notch in the chassis if you can see that lump right here in the chassis there's a little notch might be hard to tell on the camera but there is one there so anyway you got that in you want to make sure it spins yeah it spins good make sure you know you're uh drive pins are going good now you want to take this now you want to kind of get your sway bars ready to go in there whoops pop it out with your finger bump it with your finger now it's kind of tricky you got to kind of stick making sure the grub screws are facing out okay I'm having bad luck right now I mean, you could do it after. It's just better to get it lined up uh, when it's on the vehicle. A little easier, you say. Sorry if my head was in there. Camera angle there. So you just kind of want to work it in. And it's tight. It is tight for sure. Being a pain to get in the groove here. Let me pop this cover in. Sometimes they're tight. My Creighton was the same way on the front diff cover. So, yeah, I'll pop this in and get back. Okay, got it on. It was just a little bit of a t fighter, just a tad bit there, you know? Sometimes you run into those. 
So you got your screws. Got your socket head style screws. Now you need to have your, you know, ball end Allen would be the best to install these. Just kind of screw them in lightly, what I like to do. And these ones you can use a straight Allen. It wouldn't, you know, hurt anything. Uh, just like to get them started. And then you just evenly do it in like a crisscross pattern. So either, you know, like an X pattern, like either this one, this one, this one, this one. Don't go one, two, three, four straight down. Do crisscross. It's a lot better. So I'm going to tighten those up and we'll go on to the next step. All right. So once you get that all, uh, Tighten up evenly. Take your sway bar and uh, tighten these before you put your shocks on. Just get the grub screw snug. There, it's 1.5 millimeter. Make sure the Allen's on the outside. It's the best way to do it. tight center that and this is where you can put your shocks on like I say I'm gonna be putting RPM short rod ends on there so if you want but what you want to do is take this and stick this on I'll line up that hole whoops it's dropping it here watch out Line up this hole. Okay. There we go. Okay, so you want to line up that hole in that center pin there. It's kind of a snug fit. This whole thing's kind of being a snug fit, which is kind of a good thing, you know. It's not a bad thing in any sort of way. You'd rather have a snug fit than a loose fit, that's for sure. So you want, basically you want to take your screws here. You got a couple 2.5s, you got a couple 2.0s. Stick these, these are tapered, just so you know. They are tapered in, about 12 millimeters long. And you just tighten them up. I like to start with these ones because it'll suck this in and then you can start at the bottom ones. It makes it a little bit easier, I think. And these were actually loose out of the box, you know, factory, so. So then you just put these screws in the bottom here, in the bottom, right there. I'm gonna do that real quick, if I can, uh, the car to cooperate. There's one, there's two. So basically, once you got those screws in, the back end's basically done, except for, you know, if you're doing something with your shocks. Me, I'm doing something with my shocks, so. Uh, I ain't gonna be messing with those, but yeah, that's basically how easy it is. It's pretty, it's pretty easy. It's pretty user or uh, service friendly, I guess you could say. And uh, yeah, it works good. That ring gear, the ring and penny gear is a little noisy. 
Maybe it'll seed in. That's maybe the grease bubbles. I don't know. Yeah. It feels smooth, though. I mean, it's noisy, but it feels smooth. So maybe it'll kind of seed in. The teeth will kind of quiet down a little bit. But, uh, yeah, that's basically uh, all there is to assembling the differential. It's the same thing in the front. Just you're working with the front of the car versus the back. So, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it very much. Alex RC Freak out. Peace.